What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Office for Mac 2011. The main point of this is just to let you know that the new Office for Mac is indeed available. This guy is the Home and Business Edition. It's going to set you back just about $180, at least it did for me from Amazon. And this is going to give you Outlook, where this less expensive student version will not. So you're going to have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and now Outlook. I've been looking for a very robust email client. I wasn't that big a fan of Entourage. I've tried Mail.app. I've tried Thunderbird. So I'm hoping that Outlook may actually be the answer to my mail problems, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny to say. Uh, but I'm hoping that it's really going to sort of solve the issue. Uh, I'll do a sort of first look at what the new Office Suite looks like so that all the applications can show you guys whether well, I think it's worth the upgrade from the older version, which was 2008. So I don't know if you guys are going to pick this up or not. But I uh, figured I'd just go ahead and use old Savvy here and open it up. As you can see what uh, sort of comes in it. And before I do that, you can take a look at differences between the home and student versions and what you're going to get. So both versions are going to get you Word, PowerPoint, Excel. The difference here is going to be Outlook and technical support. You're only going to get three months or 90 days with home and students. And you're going to get a year uh, with the 2011 version. Uh, you also get access to sort of all their web apps now, so you can access Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and the rest of that stuff sort of online, uh, as well as access to Remote Desktop for Mac 2 and Messenger for Mac 8 if you guys use MSN Messenger. Let's go ahead and just uh, break this plastic here. I assume it's just going to be a disk. Uh, so I don't know, are you guys excited about this? I've never been the biggest fan of the uh, iWork suite of applications. Just as far as cross-platform compatibility, I've run into a lot of problems. So I think having sort of an office suite as a necessary evil uh, for a Mac user. Go ahead and pull this out here, and it's just a disk. <laughs> That's about it. I'm gonna pull this off to the side, make sure I don't flash any serial numbers here. Um, but pretty much all you're gonna get is just a disk, and that's about it. Office for Mac. Anyway guys, you wanna know what you wanna think about Office for Mac? Are you gonna get it, not get it? Are you waiting to see uh, my thoughts and opinions on it? Which will be coming very soon. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you in the next video, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.